So if you're new to the channel guys, welcome. Today's video I'm filming down at Carden Park in Chester. Fantastic golf course, I'm out here on the Nicholas course and this is a fantastic three-tiered Mackenzie Green. I'm going to talk to you today about how we can simply improve your putting without changing any technique. Yeah, I said without changing any technique and just really think about a good concept that's going to help you free yourself up to improve your putting in the future. Now, this is something that I've been doing a lot of work with Carl Morris on our putting days. So this is a little bit of a concept we worked on together. So let's take it straight onto here and let's take your putting to the next level. Let's reduce those putts by at least five. Come on, let's take it to the next level. So we've got three levels of putts. We've got an opportunity, we've got ones that we should make, and we've got ones that I kind of class as our lag putts. Now, we've all got those three different categories and we'll feel that we're stronger in one area than we are the other. But I want to talk about a simple concept in terms of pace, which is really going to help you hold more putts. Yes, I'm a really big believer. I'm going to show you that pace is way more important than line as long as we get it correct. So why is pace so much more important? Now, if you look here on the left half of the screen now, I'm going to put you up a picture of the effective hole size. Now, you can see here that the harder I hit the putt, the smaller the effective hole size becomes. Now, if I hit this putt now up towards this hole, and I hit it roughly about three foot past, so hitting it about three foot past, you look at the graphic and look how small the effective hole size becomes. It becomes so small, we've got to be so perfect with our line. Now, if we hit it a good length past that, it's just going to get just past the lip, we make that effective hole size so much bigger. Just look at that graphic now, take a second to look at it. So if we could say now we could be more tuned into pace as opposed to line, we're going to hold more putts because we don't have to be so perfect. I think when we get on the green, we see all these training aids, see all these products about being so perfect in our stroke. But ultimately, if we can be more perfect on our pace, we don't have to be as perfect on our start line. We don't have to be as perfect on our stroke. We can be tuned into what we want to be in terms of pace. We're going to hold more putts without even changing our technique. Okay, I want you to look at this here. If I hit another putt just past the hole here, From your perspective there, that putt on the right looks quite a good putt. It looks like it's gone quite close to the hole, but ultimately we get up there, like the scenario if you hit it behind the flag on a par three or an approach shot, it starts to get further away as we get past the hole. So ultimately, would you rather have a four foot putt past the hole that in theoretical terms, some of your playing partners might have said had a chance, or would you rather be an inch short? Go on, comment down below, what would you rather be? because I certainly would be rather be that person that's an inch short. If we could turn our putting into stress-free and get it in everything inside as a really small bin lid, then we're going to save ourselves a hell of a lot of shots out on the golf course. We're not going to cost ourselves three putts and we're going to have more opportunity to hold some putts. So now you've seen that graphic from a, from a fair distance away of 25 feet, let's have a look at it a little bit closer and how we can actually convert some more of those putts inside 10 feet. So now let's look at these shorter putts. So 10 foot putts that we really feel like we should hold, okay? Now, this is something that I've really been a big, big, okay, believer in for a long time. I've really been a big believer in using a line on a golf ball or just using the line on the golf ball in terms of the logo line. Now, what I think this does is, now you might agree or you might disagree. I really believe that this logo and this line really feels like now we have to walk this ball down a tightrope. Whereas, like we said a minute ago, you can see if we get the pace right, that effective hole size is three golf balls wide. One could drop in the left lip, one can drop it in the middle, and one can drop it on the right. Have a look at this graphic now. So what that, so what that graphic really illustrated to me that is that I don't have to be so perfect. I don't have to use this line to feel like I walk it down a tightrope to get it into the hole. I've got to now put it down a hole or put it down an alleyway that is three golf balls wide. Now, if I asked you the question said, could you put a golf ball down an alleyway that is three golf balls wide? A lot of you watching this now would go, yeah, I feel like I could do this. So why don't we think of putting like that? Why don't we think of every single putt that we hit, as long as we get the pace right and that perfect pace, we've got a golf ball or we've got an opportunity three times to hold this putt. Top side, this side, bottom side. Now, if the putt arcs, this, this arc and this opportunity will become a little bit above the hole or vice versa, above the hole on a right to left or left to right putt. But ultimately, 
we've got an alleyway of three golf balls wide, chance to hole a putt. Now, how easy does that sound? That sounds absolutely ridiculous what I've said, but you've seen that now. You've seen the effective hole size and you've seen three golf balls go in. So if we ditch the line now, and this is something that I've done, and this is almost like a eureka moment in my own golf game. And I thought, oh, well, I don't have to be so perfect. My stroke was freer, I was less tense, and guess what? I hold some more putts. So let's hit this three putts now. No logo, no golf ball lined up. I've taken into account what I'm looking for in terms of the putt. What I'm really trying to hone in on is the pace. I know that I've got an alleyway of three golf balls wide to put it down. And it really feels like it becomes a lot easier, honestly. Put the psychology in your head. You've seen the evidence, you've seen the facts. So again, I'm not being perfect. All I'm picturing is that ball just toppling in. Again, just toppling in. Can we get a hat trick? Again, I've not put a line down here at all. I'm not even really guessing. Bit of a bad putt. But two out of three, a good chance, a little bit firm on the pace, but ultimately, I felt a lot freer over the golf ball then. You didn't see me line one up. I wasn't trying to get so perfect in terms of where I was aiming, where I was putting the line down. I've realized now that as long as I can put it down an alleyway, three golf balls wide, I've got three chances to hole a putt. Yes, I said three chances. You've seen the evidence on the left of the screen in terms of the effective hole size. You've seen me roll three golf balls in. Take this into your putting, take this into your golf game and save yourself at least five putts. We'll stop three putting, so we'll become a little bit more stress-free from distance, but also we'll convert these 10 footers a lot more. Now, if we can convert these 10 footers a lot more, we start to make some four pointers, some three pointers, on our stable fits at the weekend. So thank you for watching today's video on Alex Elite Golf and a really simple technique which is gonna help you hold more putts out on the golf course. Remember, it's three golf balls wide. Get the pace right, you've seen the effective hole size and we can stop being so perfect. So we've changed your putting today without changing your technique. Yeah, without changing your technique, you're gonna go and hold some more putts out on the golf course. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that comment button down below as well as the subscribe button and the bell notification if you want to make some more improvements to your golf game without even knowing. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Alex Elliott Golf.